Okay, metamorphic lab time. Uh, like I said, this one can be a little bit trickier, but that's why I'm, I'm going to be very straightforward with the rocks. I very deliberately do the labs in this order. Igneous, which has a reference table that's difficult. So it's, it's intimidating, but the rocks are very easy to see those characteristics. Light to dark, coarse to fine, and you're done. Even though you got to learn to use this table, it's a little bit harder. And then sedimentary is like in the middle, but metamorphic's like a pretty easy reference table. It's just read across and get the data, get the info. But the rocks are, are like subtle. It's hard to see some of these things. Do you know what platy mica crystals visible from metamorphism of clay or feldspars looks like? You know, that's that's not that's not like something that's easy to to look at a rock and see. Okay. Therefore, I'm trying to be as straightforward as I can with this lab where, you know, here's most of the answers. You only got a thing or two to figure out, but go back and then use that reference table and use that reference table to figure, fill out this lab. Okay. So for six to nine, we'll start from the, uh, from the bottom here from six to nine, like I mentioned in the notes that you definitely should have done before you do this lab that uh, we increase our heat and pressure as we go. So that's working our way right down this list. Six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. So really you're working off those. Use what you can see in those pictures. Use what it says in the reference tables. Fill it out to the best of your ability. Okay. What else? Let's go right to the top here. One is is like you'd be you'd be probably right to guess, oh, that's what foliated must look like, but it's not because it's not unlike this like mineral level that these are actual foliations. What these are, um, it's the rock conglomerates that's been like smushed and flattened. If you remember conglomerate from the sedimentary lab. That's the one where we don't have just sand or don't have just silt or don't have just clay. It's all the different rocks all mashed up together. So take that rock and basically like put it in a big magical vice grip that will just squish it and flatten all of those pebbles. That's what you got. So again, let's let the reference table do the work. Uh, sorry. Pebbles have started distorted and stretched medic conglomerates. I did all nine rocks on here, so you're going to see them all. Uh, just like before sedimentary, coal is coal. That's what it looks like. I can't give you a, an easy test to like say, do this, do that, do that. That's coal. That's what it looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, again, being that you can't pick these rocks up and there's nothing you can really see, I'm just hooking you up with some of them. So there you go. Answers right there. Don't screw up number three, please. Uh, four and five. So here's here's the big uh, thing that you'll have to figure out. Four, compose a calcite. If we put a little bit of hydrochloric acid on there, it would fizz a little bit. Five would not. These are very good examples of non-foliated metamorphic rocks. Um, the minerals don't align themselves under all that heat and pressure. It's like it's like a very intense baking. Take all that minerals. Take all those minerals, and I don't know, like recrystallize them, but don't align them under that pressure. One made of calcite, one made of quartz. So here's the big difficult job with that. You'll have to figure out which one, find the notes, which one is made of calcite and which one is made of quartz. After that, you've got them all, right? So it's going to be more about using this reference table than, than having some huge insights on the rocks. And that will, I promise, get you through everything you need to do on the regions, should the regions take place. Um, Plain and simple. It's all, it will all be about the reference tables. So texture, foliated or non-foliated? Foliated, non-foliated. Easy peasy. Grain size. You can get a bit from the pictures. You can also get a bit from the grain size thing right here. Uh, descriptions. You know, try to tell me what you're seeing, but use the little things that it says in the lab and use the things that it might say in this thing in the comments of the reference tables and do your best to give me some sort of description. Again, color is not going to be super useful except for coal. The rest, don't don't worry about the color. It's more about the shape and the texture of the uh, grains. Rock name, we'll get it. Composition, then just come back to the composition. Give me whatever it says there. And the last one is type of metamorphism, which is right here. Summer regional, summer contact, summer both. Not too bad, eh? Um... What steps did you follow? That's just like working, you know, you did these. Like you looked at the texture, you looked at the grain size, you described the rock, and then you got what it is. 
Can metamorphic rocks form on our surface? You can answer this with a yes. You can answer this with a no. They both could be right, as long as you give me an explanation as to why you say that that can happen. Why are fossils not found in metamorphic rocks? Well, what is a metamorphic rock? How did it form? And what would happen to a fossil in a rock in that situation? Tell the difference between marble and quartzites. Hint, hint. Think about that, that acid fizz test I was talking about. What mineral is in there? Sandstone, that's right on the tables. And then this is really, again, just tell me about metamorphic rocks. How do they form? What happens to the density and hardness? We did that in the notes. If you forgot, go back to the notes towards the end. Where in your state do you find metamorphic bedrock, ESRT bedrock maps? So that's going back to the maps on page two and three, where the Adirondacks then go down and see what kind of... Uh, I didn't just say Adirondacks, so don't don't think that's the answer. <laughs> use, use pages two and three of the reference tables and try to figure that bad boy out. Um, and then what must have happened there in Earth's past? Well, how do metamorphic rocks form? That's it. All right? All right, I'm getting off camera. I'm going to make coffee. Keep it up, folks. Uh, stop, stop, stop. So long.